take better. Maybe we could change his neck set just a fraction. Uh, maybe when we get him on the move, he wants to be just a tick around as we study the top of his drum. Uh, but really dimensional, really hard to the touch. I think there's a lot of power in that particular one. I think the weather in second, and I've gone back and forth. I think you could probably scatter these uh, that, that follow him a little bit, depending on your preference. Uh, maybe just gets a little deeper and flatter there in his front one third. Uh, but really, touch is pretty good. Really shapely in his rack and square in his loin edge. Maintains that width out through his hip. Looks good from the rear view. Uh, yeah, if we could just chisel a little bit of that chest bore out of him, I think uh, I think we'd like him a little better. I think he might be just a little stouter footed. Uh, I like. The structural build of the weather that comes in third. Again, I think there's more bone there. I think he's rounder in his rib cage. I think he's just a little neater the way he's built up to his front end in terms of his chest floor. He's just one that's softer to the touch. I don't think he's quite as shapely when you get right behind him. And I don't think he's quite as athletic as we uh, compare him to that weather that goes before him. But a really nice sheep that's good in his build, good in his body shape uh, for certain. This one, I think, uh, looks really good when we get him kind of propped up there. I think his neck rockets right out of the top of his shoulder, really level in his top line. Um, one that handles pretty good in terms of degree of finish. Maybe it's not quite as fresh to the touch um, in terms of his hide and just, just general tone. Right down to it, just looks a little bit rounder and more mature in his whole front end design. And then again, I want to make him heavier structured as we study his lower skeleton. But there's a lot of good in him the way that he runs uphill and, and has some general extension up in his neck and the top of his hips. Pretty good. And then here in fifth, I think we got a nice sheep that uh, just probably gets a little outpowered in terms of total shape. And then again, when you study bone. He's just a little false ball footed, a little frailer featured, and I think probably uh, as we study his chest floor, wants to get a tick deeper there as we compare it to some of those top weathers. So, awfully nice set of crossbreds here. Let's go ahead and put our hands together.